We're joined now by Basilio Spellos, filling in for the still vacationing Josh Morano. I hope he's uh, having a good time off. <laughs> well, I hope so, too. Uh, Basilio's the Thunder Bay Chill. They were hoping to have a better time yesterday than right. they were earlier in the weekend, uh, taking on game two of the series. Yeah, looking for a little bit of redemption yesterday, because following that 2-1 loss to the St. Croix Legends on Friday, the Thunder Bay Chill were back home at Chapels Park yesterday, looking to climb in the standings. They went into the match fourth in the Deep North Division, which the Legends were leading with 16 points. Ned Van Pelt has the highlights. The rain held off at Chapels Park as the Thunder Bay Chill took on the St. Croix Legends here on Father's Day. Just over seven minutes into this one, the Chill with a chance on the corner kick. Diego Rebecca puts it in the box, takes a couple bounces, and it's Ludwig Scherer who finds it and taps it in to give Thunder Bay the early 1-0 lead. A great start for the Chill, and they would continue to put the pressure on. Still in the first half, stoppage time now, and the Legends would receive a penalty kick following a foul called on the Chill. It's Luca Contestabile, and he gets it done, making it 1-1, heading into the second half. Less than four minutes in, the ball takes a tough bounce and hits the hand of McDonald Neva, so St. Croix earns a second penalty kick. It's Contestabile again, and he goes two for two, giving the Legends their first lead of the game. The Chill wouldn't give up, though. 25 minutes later, Tyler Tardo gains some speed and goes for the shot. It takes a bounce off St. Croix's defender and finds its way to the back of the net. And just like that, it's a tie game. Thunder Bay continued to battle with multiple scoring chances toward the end, but weren't able to sneak another one past the Legends goalkeeper as this one ends in a 2-2 draw. I think it just shows uh, a better start, obviously, from, from Friday, and that's what we were looking to do was improve. And we came out sharp. Uh, unfortunately, we another penalty shot evens out the game and switches the momentum a bit, but I was happy with how we started. It's obviously it's disappointing, and it's, it kind of hurts you a little bit, but I think it's, you know, it's, we have to realize their goals are off of our own individual mistakes. It's not like we were giving them a lot of chances. Besides those PKs, I think we did a good job of like shutting them down. So I think that's how you have to keep your momentum. Just realize we're doing the right things and, and we have to keep going. Well, I thought we were resilient. Uh, you know, these were two tough games. This is a good team. They're in first place for a reason. Um, and I thought even though we got a little bit unlucky with some of the calls, uh, they stuck with it and uh, we had chances to win it at the end. No, I think they uh, they did well. I think uh, we definitely, I mean, other than those two calls, I mean, uh, we basically kept, kept them away from our goals. So I thought they did a really good job. 